so here's a scene um, that, that I was incredibly proud of as a director, but you know it just didn't work inside of the inside of the confines of our of our film. Um, uh, it's, it's a scene between uh, the characters uh, Okoye and uh, Wakabi, and um, in our in making the scene, it was the intention for, for for the audience to really realize that that Okoye and Wakabi were husband and wife. Um, so they had it kind of had a a, 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 a a confrontation or like an argument um, uh, about where Wakanda was going to go after T'Challa's death. Um, you know, in the in the in the in the uh, tribal council room, uh, it was it was a scene with the incredible performances from from uh, from Denai Garira and uh, Daniel Kaluuya, um, but it just didn't work in the, in, the, in the film. But I'm really excited for folks to folks to see it anyway. Okay. He was. You didn't seem to have a problem when he was thrown from the force. It was the king's challenge he lost. You wanted him to lose! He was not fit to lead. The Chala taught me to my face right here that he would bring Claw back. Did he do it? He had him. Ndjaka stole him from our guard. I don't care! Claw stole from us! He murdered my mother and father! 30 years, there's been no justice, and T'Challa swore to bring him back. Not taken to the UN, not taken to the CIA, but bring him here to us. Like a real king. This is what you would have me leave the daughter for. To bring our children into this world where they become conquerors. Yes. Our children will be leaders of a truly free world. Not just a tiny country where we have to hide everything that makes us great. There will be war and death. But in the end, it will be beautiful. Hmm? And Wakanda will stand tall.